Good morning. I am Dr. Anurag Jaiswal, PG resident in T.S. Misra Medical College and Hospital, Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. I am presenting a rare case report of benign multicystic peritoneal mesotheloma in young male individual. So, case description, a young boy presented with two-year history of gradual progressive abdominal swelling and fullness. He have the intermittent abdominal pain for the past two months. Apart from these symptoms, there were no other notable complaints. No previous medical history of illness. So proceeding with the imaging, the first imaging we did the X-ray abdomen anterior posterior view. Grossly, the X-ray abdomen appears normal. There is no gas in the diaphragm, so we rule out the nemoperitoneum. No sign of obstruction because there is no air fluid level is seen in the visualized bowel. But definitely there is some mass seen in the right side of the abdomen which caused the displacement of the bowel loops towards the periphery or towards the left side. So we did the ultrasonography of abdomen and we found a large cystic lesion which extends from the right side of the diaphragm to the right pelvis. It measures approximately 16 to 17 into 13 centimeter. It is very large, occupying almost whole of the abdomen. Now this cyst lesion contains multiple thin septa which doesn't show any vascularity on color doppler. The cyst having the low level internal echoes. There is no abnormal calcification is seen. There is no mural nodule is appreciated. The next uh, image of ultrasonography, which shows the multiple thin septa, and this is the very large cystic lesion. The liver appears normal in size and echo texture. And the right kidney shows hydroerectonephrosis because this cyst causes the mass lesion or cause the compression of the right proximal ureter causing upstream hydroerectonephrosis. The spleen is normal in size and echo texture. The left kidney is normal in size. It maintains CMD and no pelvic aliceal system dilatation. Apart from these visceral organs, we are not able to appreciate the pancreas or the bowel because this cystic mass almost occupying whole of the abdomen. So the ultrasound examination revealed a large multicystic lesion with multiple thin septa and low level internal echoes extending from the mid abdomen to the pelvis, which causes the mass effect on the right proximal ureter leading to dilatation of the pelvic aleal system of the right kidney. We advise for the CCT abdomen for better detection of this cystic or the complex cystic lesion. This is a CT abdomen, axial section. We can see there is a large cyst which occupying whole of the abdomen with the thin septa. This is the mass effect on the right side of the ureter, proximal ureter causing the hydroerectonephrosis of the right kidney. This is the coronal section which shows the extension of the cyst from the right side of diaphragm to the right side of the pelvis. Even we can appreciate there is a mass effect on the bladder, on the urinary bladder. The coronal and the sagittal section, which shows a clear hydroerectonephrosis of the right kidney due to the mass effect of the, this multicystic kidney, multicystic lesion. So this is the contrast enhanced study, which shows the mild enhancement of septa and better depiction of the right side of the hydroerectonephrosis. Again. So again, the coronal section, so the hydroerectonephrosis, apart from this mass effect on the right proximal ureter, there is also the mass effect on the major abdominal vessels. The abdominal aorta is displaced to the left side. Also, there is a mass effect or the abutment of the right side of the common iliac artery. So CCD abdomen revealed a well-defined lobulated thin-walled intraperitoneal complex cystic lesion which have the average Hounsfield unit, unit of plus 14. The lesion had multiple mildly enhancing septa and involved most of the abdomen and pelvis on the right side, extending from the infrahepatic region to the right iliac fossa. There was also extension to the left side. The complex lesion exerted mass effect on adjacent intraperitoneal organs displacing a small bowel loops medially. Posteriorly, it abutted and compressed the right upper ureter, causing moderate upstream hydroerectonephrosis. Additionally, it abutted and displaced the abdominal aorta, right common iliac artery and compressed the inferior vena cover. 
superiorly it displaced the right kidney while inferiorly it averted and compressed the superior lateral surface of the right urinary bladder there were no obvious signs of mural nodularity or enhancing soft tissue within the lesion so the differential diagnosis we are considered was the cystic lymphangioma chylolymphatic mesenteric cyst and multicystic peritoneal mesothelioma patient was referred for surgical excision of the mass to obtain a tissue sample for histopathological examination which would provide a definite diagnosis the patient underwent laparotomy during which the multicystic mass was excised additionally an appendectomy was performed upon exploration it was discovered that a multicystic mass occupied the entire abdomen and was adherent to the small bowel the tumor was dissected except in areas where it was inseparable from surrounding organs and tissues the patient experienced an uneventful post operative recovery and did not encounter any complications the histopathological examination grossly it the excised specimen appeared as a globular gray brown soft tissue mass upon cutting the mass multiple loculated cysts with variable wall thickness were observed the cyst contained serous to gray brown fluid microscopic sections showed that the cystic lesion were lined by flattened cells and the walls exhibited variable thickening characterized by fibroblastic tissue with collagen deposition no granulomas or malignancies were observed these histopathological features were suggestive of benign multicystic peritoneal mesothelium immunohistochemistry testing were advised including ck56 ck7 calretin wt1 and cd31 to further support the diagnosis this is the microscopic section shows the cystic lesion lined by flattened cells with variable thickened walls characterized by fibroblastic tissue with collagen deposition few words about the multi benign multicystic peritoneal mesothelioma it is a very rare condition primarily seen in middle aged women during their reproductive age with an extremely low annual incidence of 0.15 per lakh cases predisposing factors include chronic inflammation previous surgeries endometriosis and peritoneal dermatitis linked to peritoneal dialysis till date less than 200 cases have been reported in the literature making diagnosis challenging we talk about the reported cases in india it is still less than 20 cases the prognosis of bmpm is not definitely stabilized due to its rarity however based on the limited reported cases the prognosis seems generally favorable it is a rare tumor originating from mesothelial tissue characterized by peritoneal cyst from both epithelial and mesenchymal components it is a minimal risk of becoming malignant at is it is not linked to asbestos exposure bmpm commonly manifest in the pelvic region but can also appear in other areas like the kidneys bladder lymph nodes liver and spleen in early stages is it it is asymptomatic or show minimal symptoms however as it grows and puts pressure on nearby organs symptoms become more noticeable these symptoms are generally non specific and may involve abnormal pain palpable masses and constipation on ultrasound appears as multicystic aneuploid lesion filled with fluid ct scan is used to assess its location and extent mri is the preferred technique showing bmpm as hypo intense lesion on t1 weighted images and hypo to intermediate intense lesion with mild wall enhancement on t2 weighted images thank you